What's up guys again? This is Markman and we're here to talk about some of the defensive options in Soul Calibur 6. So first off, I want to talk to you guys about blocking. So there's always two ways to block. You have to block high and mid where you're standing there and there's also the low block which will block low moves as you can see. One of the very important things to remember is it takes timing and it also takes proper spacing. Now going into the guard impact, the guard impact is actually an old mechanic that's been in the Soul Calibur series. It's a special move that allows you to repel your opponent's attack and leave them open to a counter. However, you need to make sure you time the move with your opponent's attack to land one effectively, otherwise you won't be able to deflect it. Now, you can't deflect guard breaks or unblockable attacks, so please take note of that. Now, one of the new elements is the reversal edge. It can be held down. It's a special stance that goes into a special attack that goes into a series of attacks that have their own rules, and we'll break down the reversal edge a little bit later on. But as you can see, there are different options, and what it does is when your opponent is attacking you, you're able to deflect the follow-ups. As, as you can see here, all the lows, you're able to parry them, and you're able to turn the tide of the match by going into this clash state where you can turn it to your advantage and land either a big series of hits or a massive combo. Now, these are just a few of the defensive options in Soul Calibur 6, and I urge you to explore more of them when you play online or with your friends or with anyone else that's out there. So, please look forward to more videos and more tutorials about Soul Calibur 6 in the near future.